Exciting news alert. Manchester United squad gets a boost, ahead of big FA Cup match against Liverpool at Old Trafford. Hey there, Red Devils fans. We've got some thrilling updates for you. Aaron Juan Bissaka is back in action, spotted training at Carrington alongside Mason Mount, with key players like Lisandro Martinez, Luke Shaw, Tyrell Malaysia, and Harry Maguire out. This is fantastic news for Eric Ten Hag's squad. But wait, there's more. Victor Lindelof has been filling in at left back, but Juan Bissaka's return means more flexibility for the team. Could this shake things up for United's defense? As we gear up for Sunday's showdown with Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool, the return of Juan Bissaka and Mount couldn't have come at a better time. Eric Ten Hag is hopeful that Maguire and Rasmus Hoylund may also make a comeback for the match. Now, let's turn to our rivals. Liverpool isn't without their own challenges, with a lengthy injury list including big names like Joel Matip, Allison, and Diogo Jota. But there's hope on the horizon, as Klopp hints at the return of Ibrahima Konate. What do you think, fellow fans? How do you feel about the squad's prospects for the upcoming clash? Let's hear your thoughts, and stay tuned for more updates from Eric's pre-match press conference on Friday. Meanwhile, Manchester United fans fumed, leave him alone, after Lisandro Martinez was called up by Argentina despite being injured. The 26-year-old has been out since February after picking up a knee injury in the 3-0 win over West Ham. Martinez suffered medial collateral ligament damage and was ruled out for eight weeks. At best, it meant he was set to return at the end of the month against Brentford. But Martinez could first get a taste of action with Argentina after receiving an international call-up. The world champions host friendlies against El Salvador on March 23rd and Costa Rica on March 27th. And Martinez's nod implies he is in Lionel Scaloni's plans to face at least one of those sides. However, United fans have been left fuming at his call-up. They believe Martinez should be left alone to continue recovering. And with United struggling to impress, many feel the club should have blocked Martinez from being selected. One said, He is injured. Leave him alone, Fefs. Another declared, How can you call up a player just coming out of injury? One noted, United should step in and stop this. The guy isn't even back yet and they want him for some pointless friendlies. Another added, We should stop this. They should leave him. Martinez is in his second season at Old Trafford, having joined for $46 million from Ajax in 2022. He made 45 appearances last term as United soared to victory in the Carabao Cup. But Martinez has suffered several long-term injuries since, and he has played just 10 times in all competitions this season, again and again. Rio Ferdinand has revealed Johnny Evans's surprise at a Manchester United starlet's progress, and free transfer re-signing Evans 36 was not talking about Kabi Mainu. Old Trafford legend Ferdinand told his Five podcast, I went to Carrington the other day, the training ground, to do some filming, and Johnny Evans said he come back to Man United and obviously sees the players and, and you expect X from him and him, etc. But he said I just thought, Alejandro Garnacho would be an impact player from the bench, a sub. He said he's one of our main, if not the go-to guy now. And it tells you his development. He's 19 years old, man. Three-cap Argentinian Garnacho is mainly a winger but has been used all across the front line, especially since injury to striker Rasmus Hoylund. Moving on. Manchester United are reportedly plotting to try and bring ex-Newcastle ace Mikel Marino back to England. The 27-year-old midfielder had a brief spell at St. James's Park during the 2017-18 season after joining on loan from Borussia Dortmund. Marino, who made 25 Premier League appearances and scored just once, failed to earn himself a permanent deal, and at the end of that season he was sold to Real Sociedad, and he has remained with the Spanish side since. Marino, who some fans think a Prem ref has been trying to convince to come back to these shores, has become a key man for the La Liga side and helped them to secure Champions League football last season. 
The Spanish international has been in stunning form this term, scoring six and producing five assists in 36 matches in all competitions, leading to his manager Imanol Alguacil calling him the best player in La Liga back in September. Now, Spanish radio station Copi claims that uncertainty surrounds his future after talks on a contract extension reached a stalemate. His current package expires in 2025, and this update says that he will not commit his future until he knows whether they will be in Europe again next term. They currently sit sixth in the top flight and trail PSG 2-1 after losing their Champions League last 16 first leg at home. But even if they do secure another shot in the continent's top cup competition, his form has attracted a host of admirers. It is reported that United have sent scouts to watch Marino as they consider making a summer swoop. And Man City, Juventus and Atletico Madrid have all also been following him closely. Marino has a release clause of 52 kilometers, but Sociedad are aware that his price could drop significantly once he enters the last 12 months of his agreement. And that could lead to him being available for much less at the end of the season if the renewal talks fail to restart with the Spaniards expected to try and cash in for as much as possible rather than risk losing him for nothing next year. Meanwhile, Manchester United star Mason Mount has finally returned to training. The England international, despite being back on the grass, the midfielder is unlikely to feature against Liverpool in the FA Cup quarterfinals this Sunday. Speaking last Friday, boss Eric Ten Hag said of Mount, I think he is in a good spell now and he will return shortly. I think after the international break. For next week, some players are planning to return, hopefully when the process will continue like it is now. Mount has been limited to just 12 appearances in all competitions this season, with eight coming in the Premier League. He is yet to score for the club, but did lay on an assist in the 3-0 League Cup win over Crystal Palace. Mount has not featured for United since sustaining a calf injury in November. He last featured in the 1-0 win over Luton, but has now resumed training at Carrington. Fabrizio Romano is 100% convinced that Michael Olis would jump at the chance to join Manchester United from Premier League rivals Crystal Palace. When the reports emerged a few weeks ago, claiming that the Frenchman is a die-hard Manchester United supporter, suddenly his non-celebration back in January 2023 made that little bit more sense. After banging a stunning free kick past David De Gea in stoppage time, Crystal Palace snatching a late draw against Eric Ten Hag's side, Mikel Olisa barely even cracked a smile. Now we know why. The former reading AC, Football London reports, is a man united supporter and would choose the Red Devils over a host of other clubs should they make a move this summer. And all the signs suggest that, make a move, they will.